came out to let Mopo out. See QDX seven twenty one Southern Cal one sixty three New Mexico. Hello. Hello, San Antonio, San Diego, man. I apologize. Just too many came back that time. Hello, San Antonio, and uh, around San Diego. Seven one two. We were calling for you, bud. Seven one two. Everybody out there at DX Land. Hey, we're rolling a little live gate right now, man. I just came out here, to take my dog out, turn my radio on, and wow, <laughs> we got some Mother Nature rolling. Y'all be cool. One sixty three. My duck radio. We're listening. All right, by the sea, California, you guys are all sounding good over here, man. My dog's barking right now. Give me a second. We'll be back. I got to let him back in. Hey, Mopo. Uh-oh, you see something? Oh, you want me to come play with you? It's too dark out. Or you like what? Is there something here? No yucking. You coming to get, to get in? Come on, Mopo. In the back. Mopo's getting the back. That's where Mopo. In the back, Mopo. Stay in the back. Zero seven two San Diego Cal man, you're smoking down around New Mexico. One sixty three Mud Duck Radio. We're listening. Tijuana Mama, you're making that trip. I know that voice. Tijuana Mama, you're making that trip to New Mexico. 163, back to you. Yep, yep. Damn, I'm fighting with Tijuana Mama to get to New Mexico. Oh. <laughs> well, you made the trip to New Mexico, man. It sounded good, too. 163, your turn. sure who that is right now talking and where you're at talking about a video game but i'll tell you this right now you're alive on youtube as we speak 163 barefoot mobile mud duck radio we're listening by the sea. You're sounding real good around New Mexico. 163. Back to you. I don't know if that number's out there. One, yeah, I heard you. Five, five, and a 163. I apologize, man. 333 by the sea. 
you're making the trip, you are live on YouTube. Just to let everybody know. 163 in the Barefoot Mobile Mud Duck Radio. We're listening. Okay, 163. Oh, you're going to hear me again. I got to from Mexico. I got to get to I'm starting to see comments, but guys, I'm not really. Right there, 201. Yeah, we got you in there, man. You're live, too. You sounded good, 201. You sounded real good around Lordsburg, New Mexico. Man, I just come out here to let my dog out on the way over here, man. I turn the radio on, and Lord and behold, Mother Nature is everywhere. <laughs> Y'all be cool. Hold down the fort. Enjoy it. Hard drive, 163. <laughs> Barefoot Mobile, Mud Duck Radio. We're listening. Yeah, man, that thing's working fine. I hear you in New Mexico. Uh, right on, yeah, 712 here, man, Southern Cowboy. Right back at you, 712. I gave you a shout a little while ago, man. You got it all started. I'm not sure if you heard it or not. I'm just a, that little mud duck. Anyway, 712, you're live on YouTube. Hey, be cool, take care. Right on, right on. Hey, man, enjoy the rest of the week. And what's left of the Southern California setting? We're back quiet. Right back at you, man. I, I had kind of a rough day today, man. Yesterday was just nonstop busy. And today I had to lay down for a little while and we're back up, getting ready to get back to working. And like I said, I came over to let the dog out. And man, Mother Nature's out there getting heavy today. Sounds like everybody's enjoying it too. 163, we're clear and gone. We'll be listening. Right on, right on. I'll be on the side, too. I want to see you back on the front side. Hey, we just want to bless everybody out there for the we got the rock started off the gate. We just want to say a blessing for everybody out there on the radio from uh, different states and uh, down here in Southern California. 201, we're on the side. Hey, 201, you're doing a great job over here, man. 201, SoCal, you guys always are. And clear, good, plain, clean style, too. Take care. Hello, Oklahoma, you guys are live, too. See QDX 25 Oklahoma. You're sounding real good around New Mexico. 163. Back to you. 163 New Mexico. How are you doing this year? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. Uh, it's a weird day today, but I'm all right. It's a, it's a great evening out here with my dog talking to you in DX land on my little mud duck radio in my Jeep. How are you doing? Well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, so uh, I'm using my Francis antenna. Well, everything I, I, well, you probably know what it is. Just one little barefoot mud duck radio. Back to you there, 25. QSL, there, 25. Hi there, 25. Hey, you're making a trip over here. Sound real good. 25 Oklahoma, 163 New Mexico. We're we're listening. I'm I'm kind of slow right now, you guys. Bear with me. I need coffee. Right on, right on. Don't burn the. Remember that little. Don't burn the food. I'm not gonna stay long. I burn up all my time and my phone. Mopo had to go do his, his thing. Did you do your thing, man? Coming? No, your hands are still wet and dirty. Nope. No, no, no. Let me see your hands. All right, okay, come on. Hello, man, man. Hello, man, man. I'm in, man. I got these new LEDs from China the other day. <laughs> Man, they're rocking. Look at that. I'm digging them.
Is that you, Mad Man? Tijuana Mama, we hear you in New Mexico. Hey, Tia, please. We hear you in New Mexico. I'm waving. Right on back there, Tijuana Mama. You're live on YouTube. Hard drive, 163. Top evening. Happy New Year. Hard we're clear. Hi, hard drive. You know, you know. You know that good stuff. Sounding good like you always do. Hard drive. Tijuana Mama's waving. Right on back. Hold down the board over there. You sounded real good. Tijuana Mom, I hope you have a prosperous new year. 163 in the barefoot. <laughs> Mobile Mud Duck Radio. Clear and gone. 20 continuous watts, guys. Oh, my. I mean, if you're watching YouTube live right now, that's, your guys are live. I can't stay too much longer because I'm not using the uh, internet type of thing that I normally use. I'm using my phone. So I got to save some time. Anyways, you guys are rocking. Sounding great out there tonight. Sounds like everybody's having fun and getting along. Hard Drive 163 in the Barefoot Mobile Mud Duck Radio. Enjoy. Guys are making that trip around New Mexico. And yeah, I'm not looking at too many comments, guys. I apologize. The light in here and seeing everyone makes it kind of wrong. Thanks, man. Always on back. Just a bad fit mobile mud duck radio. Like a, uh, I want to take a stand by, man. It's like you're up in my, in my radio 100%, you know. So, I was just talking to my radio. Well, you guys in a 28 good time. Yeah, you're still stroking around New Mexico. 163. Mud duck barefoot radio. We're listening. All right, contraband. Hello, contraband. If you're near it, contraband, I'll burn up some more time on my phone. CQDX989, about that 989 around the Alamo, 163, New Mexico, we're QRT. Here's 
Well, you're a bunch of you guys out there, man. Just uh, want to say have a great evening. Enjoy Mother Nature. And 989, man, 989 around the Alamo. We're still listening for you, man. 163 in the Barefoot Mud Duck Radio. We're listening. Six ninety nine. We hear a six ninety nine around New Mexico. One sixty three, Lordsburg, New Mexico. We're listening. Hey, you know, well, you know, I've got a road record for you there in my yard. I'm putting it together. You don't have it on a pole here, maybe in a couple of weeks. Well, yeah, uh, I'm going to use it up about four or five feet by the time I get done with it. But I've got it all put together. Uh, got to stand in the way down. And uh, hey, if it sounds like yours, I'm going to be happy with it. I think we're doing a lot of good on those Facebook or something. CQ, CQDX, 989, 989 in that mud duck mobile around San Antonio, 163, the barefoot mobile mud duck mobile number two, we're listening. Yeah, yeah, 712, good copy on you, man, sounded good, you're live on YouTube too, by the way, 712, doing a great job over here, man, hey, uh, what's the weather like over there tonight, I heard it was raining earlier, yeah, it was raining, but, uh, yeah, it was Roger, yeah, we need, we all need rain, man, I just don't like the high step and mud around here, we got, uh, Looks like 41 degrees right now here in uh, southwest New Mexico. It's not bad sitting here with my dog talking to you. 163, New Mexico, off this key. I heard you. I'm going to get it here maybe in the next few weeks. Uh, gonna get it up there and, uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a good thing there. I've been, I've been trying to get it up, but with work, I'm still working. And, uh, well, you're a bunch of stations, someone else is talking. I'm curious, so. Like I said, I got it put together. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that is. We got the any time. It's a guarantee it's not going to perform nothing like this video. I got a lot of videos covering these videos of how much of a mud duck they are. <laughs> but they kind of work. Kind of. CQDX 160. Hey, uh, how about that 989? How about that 989 around the Alamo 163 Mud Duck Radio? We're listening. people and see almost in a position. A lot of people have bought these radios and uh, the reason I use these radios is because it's like the strikers etc. They're total mud ducks. They require a lot of work to get them to perform like this. And I'm sure my videos throughout the last four years of these has spawned many people to try to buy these. 
I discuss it in a lot of different videos about these radios. They're not going to work. Nothing like this. Not remotely close on the receive, transmit A on the sideband. Okay? So don't bust your bubble trying to get them to perform the same. There's a lot of work that has to be performed to work like these work like this. <clears throat> Otherwise, you know, anybody be doing it, and that's not the case. CQDX 989. How about that? 989 around the Alamo 163. Mud Duck Radio. We're listening. Alright there, there at 989 around the Alamo. I got you, bud. It sounded good over here. We're a couple of cycles off a little bit. Not bad though, man. You want a QSL to another one? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, one that blows hot air out of it. We'll read you. Yeah. You need radiators. Hi, Roger Paul. Yeah, we, I got a guy out there in New Mexico, out there around Lower Burst. That dude got 163 out there. So I'm talking to a fellow over there in San Antonio, and he kind of got in there on top of me there, but I'm sure he can't hear you. Can't hear me, you know, but, uh, you know that's, uh, that's the way it is with side fans. Well, I apologize, man. Uh, that guy's over there around San Antonio. Uh, yeah, I do hear you, and you are live on YouTube. Uh, uh, 989, you want a QSY 37? See QDX 989. Hello 989 over there by the Alamo, you mud ducker. Come on in. We got you in there, crystal clear as always. Over, uh, we're still warming up on this end, so I might be off a little bit. Oh, it's it's good enough, man. <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, mine's warming up. You know, it's just pretty warm. I I can't reach down there and grab it yet because one hand's holding the camera. The other hand's holding the microphone, and we're looking at MoFo, man, if you're looking at your phone. Oh, uh-oh, I'm showing my antenna. <laughs> but I'm not using it right now. You're sounding great over here, man. How's your day going so far there, 989? Well, I, uh, I, I indulged a little too heavily last night, so most of my morning was eating greasy food and uh, trying to get my head to shrink back down. Over. <laughs> yeah, man, I'll tell you what. I had to work after we talked and did all that stuff, and... And uh, in the middle of the day, I punked out, man. I had to lay down, and I got up here not too long ago. Mopo was wanting to go 10-100. He's wanting to go 10-200. Here I am right now. You can hear me slurring. Slow today, man. I, I should have got me some coffee before I came back out. Just tired, man. Just too long a day. It's back to you. Yeah, I know that feeling, man. Uh, it's like there's never enough time in the day. And, you know, coffee, that, that's that nectar of life, over. Right, 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 right. And uh, I, what I did is yesterday I had a couple of cups of coffee that I bought, like the Flying J and the Pilot. I didn't make it myself, and I had that raunchy white sugar. Uh, I'm getting spoiled, man, cooking on my own food, making my own coffee. When I, you know, cheat on myself and go to the store and get junk food, I feel miserable and suffer the next day. So anyways, man, how was your day so far besides all that? Did you get anything done? Bit. I got the old work truck cleaned out. Uh, I'm about to take another look at my antenna system, see if I can make uh, you know any kind of improvement. You know, you, you never really reach perfection on this until uh, until it's until it's done. But it just never seems done. Short of popping a hole in the roof, which uh, <laughs> I'm not too far from right now. I'm uh, I'm, I'm right at the cusp of uh, just saying the hell with it, uh, sticking a puck mount on the roof, but. For now, uh, I'm just going to try to make some little improvements while I can and uh, just try to keep doing what I'm doing, over. Right, right. It, it's working. Scott uh, did a video. Actually, it's a long video. I need to download it. It starts out with your radio, the unboxing of it, and then the uh, other video where it says when you need to use or when you should use a low-pass filter. And then he has you and me talking back and forth last night. It's it's up on YouTube right now. I just got to download it, upload it back up. But here's another one, man. <laughs> Same radios. And you're doing a great job over here, man. 
You know, look at that's what Mopa looks like when he hears you. See him? He, that's that's like because <laughs> he knows your voice on the phone, man. So he knows your voice on the radio too, right? Back to you. Well, I mean, it makes sense because uh, I mean the two sound exactly the same. So uh, you know, that's not that's not that's not a surprise, over. Roger. Well, you notice, man, you sound better on the radio than you do on the phone. Well, I'm not sure how I got. How you how I sound over there, but I did notice in your recording that you need to turn your noise blanker on, man. Is it on now? Uh, I just clicked it on right now. Uh, I, I keep it off. I, I kind of ignore the static, uh, thing, you know, in the sacrifice of uh, audio. Over. Right. I I seen it, and I wanted to take a gun and blow my brains out and rip out my eyeballs <laughs> while I was listening to. It. I'm like, oh my god. But hey, if you can handle it, man, that's that's cool. I can't stand noise anymore. Well, uh, I, I got a little less miles on me here than you, but uh, in this spot, uh, it's it's close to the house, but it's still not great. I'm right next to some high voltage power lines, and I got cars driving by, and you know they're LED lights and modifications and sound systems and terrible alternator wine. But you know it, 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 it's the best I can do on short notice. Over. Right, yeah, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man, I understand. And uh, I am so happy with my puck. My my fan is on right now. Let me make sure you can hear it. My fan, okay, see all that stuff? Take a good reading of it. Oh, oh, I unkeyed, see? Everything's running. Yeah, I need to get more gas, and I'm not wearing my seatbelt. But, uh, yeah, everything's running in here. If I turn the noise blank around, you'll hear my my pump a little bit but it's awesome on sideband yeah it, it was scott and i were talking you know last night yesterday about your uh, antenna system and i said that if you got in touch with he got in touch with you that he if you give him give him a picture that'd be cool but i wasn't going to do it to show the difference and how you're actually requiring power compared to what i'm doing barefoot and it's all about the antenna system is all it is you know, just that's what it is. Yeah, ten four. I mean, I I know this antenna system is far from perfect. You know, I'm I'm doing about forty eight and a half ohms. Uh, you know, on impedance, which uh, you know, it's the perfect fifty. But even even with with my shortcomings, it still punches through uh, better than most on you know on DX local all that over. Roger, well, you're doing a great job, man. I, I hear it, but. It's more than that. It's that ground, the ground plane, the different metals, the uh, constructive and destructive ways and the pattern coming off your vehicle. There's there's so much more to it than just ohms and resonance. <laughs> you might be thinking, how oh, could there be more? But there is. You know, there really is. You're listening to it. Oh, yeah. I mean, this, uh, this, this past couple days, you know, with us talking back and forth, it really showed me that... Uh, you know, there's, there's so much more to it than meets the eye, and even more than what you can see on an antenna analyzer. You know, I got that that rig expert A55 zoom, and I mean, it, it it's a damn good analyzer, and it'll show you you're doing wrong or you're doing right, but there's still more than that than they even, even that thing can measure over. Yes, that's true. If there was a device, and maybe the military or NASA has something, that if you could three-dimensionally view the pattern coming off of your vehicle you know the right angle and the rotation of the signal itself you'd be able to you know plan it out a little bit better you know some people in the past used to use signal strength meters that's kind of okay but that is still way beyond what we're talking about that doesn't that will show you like takeoff angles if you understand what's going on but Still, the vehicle itself, you know, the ground and the counterpoise is the most critical. People still say, there's no way you're barefoot. Man, I'm barefoot. <laughs> I'm barefoot, you know. Barefoot, 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 barefoot. Mobile Mud Duck Radio, back to you. Yeah, I'm not quite barefoot, but uh, I'm not too far from it, you know, with a 3-watt radio and, you 
know, this little two pill amplifier. I'm 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 slightly above barefoot, but and and the problem is too is these new vehicles, man, the sheet metal is just so thin. You know, it's a twenty eighteen GMC twenty five hundred H D, which it's supposed to be, you know, heavy duty. But uh <laughs> let me tell you, ain't nothing heavy duty about these new trucks. But I've had a I've had a twenty sixteen Ram twenty five hundred and a 2015 F350, and out of all of them, this uh, the GMC seems to be the at least the, the least bad out of all of them as far as electrical noise, fuel pump noise, alternator whine, all that. The only noise I pick up is uh, this little GPS system. Right. right, I got you. Now, so there's other people starting to come in a little bit, and Mopo's getting rambunctious. His head's underneath my hand. But uh, you remember a video I did live out of the shop with this radio right here. This radio, I did it. All right, I did it with this radio. It's still on YouTube. I just marked it as unlisted. And you've seen this radio. This one right here, I can't point it because I'm holding the microphone and the camera. But you've seen me turn it down to two watts, okay? Two watts you've seen, right? Remember that? Oh, I remember Okay, cool. Now I gotta set the mic down. All right, now watch. Hold on. CTDX 989. Can you still hear me? Oh yeah, you went from an S9 to about an S6 with a peak up to an S7. Over. Roger. Okay. Well, you can't see the video. You're not watching it live. But I just went down to two watts, and there's verification. This radio right there, we're ta I'm talking on you're listening to it. Two watts. Let me uh, put the mic back down. Well, I can stay right here. <laughs> Why well, burn the electrons in the extra DC, right? Yeah, I hear you there. Let me uh, let me roll my power back to about half. All right, there's half power right there. Uh, how's that sounding? Over. It sounds good. Why don't you shut that thing off and turn the power wide open on the radio? All right, we're well, going amp off. Talk to me. All right, amp is off. Amp is off. I'm doing three watts of power. Roger, exactly, man. <laughs> well, it's in a live video gate right now. Cleve and my first personal spark. Uh, everybody would know that by now. I got you in there, man. I hear you, and you can see it. You're talking at about three peak. peak. I'm talking at two. So your antenna system is working, you know, fairly good. Yeah, that's uh, it's impressive, man. It just goes to show how uh, how little you can you can use and still get out. I mean, as the crow flies, I mean, uh, hell, I haven't even looked, but we're probably what six hundred miles away. Yeah, something like that, man. Normally, from from my calculations throughout the years, both using quarter wave antennas, the elevation does have a little bit to do with it. But typical skip, from what I noticed, has been. 475 to 525 miles. Other things can change that, but normally that's about what it is. I'm about 4,000 feet up, so that, up the, you know, you figure the ionosphere, the, the angles, the takeoff angles back to Earth. So it, it's quite possible. Yeah, like 500, 600 miles. Doing great. Yeah, I just looked it up. We're, uh, we're 700 miles apart, and uh, that's, that's, you know, via internet. But, uh, you know, I-10 pretty much runs uh, dead between us. And, like I said, we're 700 miles apart, and I'm at about 350 feet elevation. Over. Roger, the 350 feet elevation. I still got you, man, at your 3 watts or whatever that thing was set up at. It's on the video. I can't remember every single radio, and I guarantee you I won't. <laughs> I can't. But whatever it showed on that video is what it's doing. And you've seen this radio on that video. I'm still down at 2 watts. And I think the carrier on AM was a little, about 2 and a quarter watts carrier. Which would be around times 4 for the 4 to 1 modulated carrier. But yeah, we're talking at just a couple of watts right now. Clean. Spectrally pure. Clean watts. Naturally, it's the roll-offs and the frequency response that's doing it. That's why we're able to do it. And the receivers are tuned the same. But ain't that cool how the same type of radios can hear each other quite well. It's almost 
like they were being, uh, they were tuned and born and bred to hear each other and to talk to each other. But yeah, no, three watts, and I believe is what you set it up to uh, give a nice conservative drive level to this little two pill. And uh, I mean, as you can hear, as everybody can hear, uh, it's, it's unnecessary. I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of upset, but hey, you know, uh, it's good to have power uh, if you need it. But clearly, you don't. Uh, unless, uh, if you got conditions, you got a decent antenna and a damn fine radio. And hey, this is your coax too, both of them. The one going between the radio and the amp, and the amp to the antenna. So. Uh, with all those things together, I mean, you can get out on three watts. Yep, yep, yep. Three watts. <laughs> Two watts. You know, when, the, when everything is tuned. Well, I, I don't want to get into all that stuff right now, man. Just want this to be a cool, nice video where it's just as logical and plain as day. And I'm hearing you great, man. And I swear to God, for what I hear in here right now, it's easier to talk to you on the radio. You you sound more like you on the radio than you do on the damn phone. Yeah, uh, likewise. Uh, you know, we've we've had several phone calls correspondence. And I yeah, I can your your voice sounds more like you're you're sitting here talking to me than you do on the cell phone, especially with, uh, especially on my end when I'm going through, uh, through the truck and doing night night oil. You know. Uh, doing the speed limit down the interstate, but, I mean, it, it sounds uh, just like your voice, over. Right, right, right. I wish I had teeth, man. That's really getting to me. It's, it might be this year. It makes my speech really screwed up, especially when I hear my video gates. I sound like I'm building mud ducks. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, life goes on. And yeah, it's great, man. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and it, you know, it just so happens it's you, and it worked out great that you can go as low in power as you can go, and then you were a, a person that seen that video. It's still there, it's just unlisted, but yeah, a couple of watts peak sideband. Yep, you're sounding great over here, man. Yeah, we got conditions, we got a decent antenna system. Yeah, both of us. But that's what it takes. It doesn't take a gazillion watts. It takes more patience and a few more bucks and more patience to get it done. But once it's done, that puck is, the, I mean, the puck is priceless as far as I'm concerned. As an adult, don't want to screw with it more than once. The, the puck's priceless. I don't have to pull my headliner down anymore. But once it's done, you're done. You don't have to spend a fortune. We're talking at a couple of watts. I don't know how many minutes it's been so far. Um, we're, uh, this video is 38 minutes long, and I do got to get off this thing here pretty soon, man. I hate to say that because I didn't bring my internet with me. I'm talking off of my phone. It might start dropping the resolution here pretty quick to screw up the video. But just a couple of watts, man. Just a couple of watts. That's it. I wish I would have picked one up while they were doing it. But uh, my wife's watching this video at the house right now. I was, I was throwing pants on and throwing boots on. And uh, she was yeah, yeah. Me out here. sitting on the couch right now watching this video. And, uh, you know, thank you for your patience, honey. And thank you for all my uh, uh, late nights in the shack and uh, messing with this antenna over. Right, right. It could be you could have a worse hobby you know <laughs> it could be worse but now that she knows what you're doing it's kind of cool some guys you know I, I gotta warn them when they're married hey man you start spending money on radio equipment you know to talk to somebody else and not your wife that might cause you an issue but you got a good one man it's, it's a good hobby there's nothing wrong with it you know you're you're really into it i know you are you go you you've already dived in deep with all your test equipment, etc. So I know you're into it deep, but it's not a bad one and it's rewarding after a while, isn't it? Oh man, there's uh there's no better feeling than making a long distance contact and you know, being able to walk out over the noise when you're running, you know, uh, uh 
sixteenth of the power of everybody else. <laughs> and you know, not only that, I mean, it, it keeps me busy, it keeps my mind, uh, it keeps me mentally sharp. You know, not many things these days seem to challenge me mentally, but this has this has yeah. my butt in many regards. Over. Right. Yeah, we're a couple of watts, man. We're still doing it. Oh, yeah, conditions help, but a guy just made a comment on uh, on uh, my my on the live feed. He goes, "Buy your test equipment before you get married." <laughs> Heck yeah, man! Smart move. Now, my wife, she don't care as long as we uh, as long as all the bills are paid and uh, mm. that card works when she needs it. Uh, well, I mean, she she has no complaint. You know what I do with. Uh, what I do with the money and it, you know, keeps us happy and we're not in the poor house, you know, it's, it's, as long as I'm uh, not, you know, in a bad mood and, you know, I, I work hard for my money. So what I do with it, she's fine with and, you know, she's got plenty to play around with on her end if she wants to, but she's the thrifty one, man. She does all the budgeting, all the grocery shopping, you know, she's very, very uh, money conscious where... You know, me, I got that oil field mindset, you know, oh, well, we're feasting now, so. <laughs> right, right, right. I don't think he was talking to you the way I should have said it differently there, Cleve. He was referring that to other people before they get started, I think. <laughs> Which was a cool comment, you know, it was a good one. And yeah, you are a little bit different than the majority. Yeah, you, you've got the bug in you, and which is, there's nothing wrong with it. I think when you hear this video, Gates, you're really going to like it. And I hope other people are paying attention, too, because it's just a couple of clean watts back and forth. And uh, I can show my antenna. Cleve can show his antenna. Matter of fact, there's video gates of both radios and how they're tuned. I mean, we're not talking any kind of weird stuff. Anyways, Cleve, I, I, man... I know you're out there, out and about. You drove away from your house. But my phone is going to be a snail the rest of the month if I don't get off this thing pretty soon. You know what I mean? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. But uh, it's just one of those things. you got to put in the work. You know, it's not something you can just plug into your truck and slap a fire stick on a hood mount or something and call it good. I mean, you gotta, you got to really, you got to put in the time. you got to put in the miles. you got to find out what works it still what works out you know doing 70 80 miles an hour down i-10 you know with wind conditions and you know headwinds 50 mile an hour headwinds and all that i mean it's, it's not just something you can uh, pull out of the box and expect to work perfect but uh yeah man i appreciate the uh the correspondence here it's, it's been great man I, I really enjoy this so you know uh get off that phone let it cool down you know <laughs> put a fan on it but, uh, you know, I just want to say 73s, and I appreciate everything you do. It's 989, and we are clear. We are gone. Click, click. All right, there, 989. I just got pushed away from the, the radio, man, literally. The lights are out in here right now, but, yeah, he's just pushing me away. <laughs> Get off that thing already, Dad. Yeah, man, it was my pleasure, and you're right. You got to spend the time. Do it right. Do it right the first time, and you'll be happy with it. All right, man, you're going to enjoy this when you hear your radio. I am going to sign off. Everybody came in here to YouTube tonight and made you comments. I'll be reading them here when I get back to the house. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoy. Cleve, Mud Duck Radio. <laughs> Good talking to you there, Mother Ducker. 989 around the Alamo. 163 in the Barefoot. <laughs> Mobile mill radio, we're clear and gone. Everybody have a great night. Quick, quick. And be careful with those LEDs, you know. Uh, you might want to put some sunscreen on, over. Oh, yeah, yeah. And by the way, uh, I could I could be driving down the road at 80 mile an hour and do this. No problem. Yeah, I still got the antenna noise. Uh, if I could find a way to unplug it, I would. Real quick radio check. Right, we got somebody in there with a radio check now. Yeah, this this Francis antenna, you'll see part of my homemade antenna in the video. It's up against the door. You'll see, it's just a copper tube, man, is all it is. But my, I can't really see much advantage of using it over my Francis antenna. 
no, I can't run any power with my branches of much of, of any sort, but as we can see, it's not really necessary unless you're trying to go out there and win competitions or just be a, an idiot and walk on people. It's not necessary to have power. Hope some people catch on. All right, man, I'm signing off this time. Cleve, 989 on the Alamo, and that Mud Duck Mobile, 163 hard drive, first personal mark. Mud Duck Mobile in the desert. We're clear and gone. Click, click. Well, all right, I appreciate it. And uh, you take it easy. Uh, 163 hard drive, mobile Mud Duck in the desert. It's 989, mobile Mud Duck in the Alamo. We are clear. We are clear. We are Thanks for stopping in, guys and girls. Click, click.